YouTube, how's it going, man? We back for another video, and today we're gonna do a top 10 tips for beginners. So if you feel like you know you need a little bit of help, or you feel like you're missing or messing something up, this is the right video for you. It'll kind of help you with uh you know making sure you're progressing the right way. And number one tip we're gonna start with is the Roar Jukebox. As you can see, level one to I believe level 70. I don't even think it went to that high before. But try to make sure you're doing your jukebox daily. They have daily missions, they have daily task. Well, not even missions, they have daily tasks, they have weekly tasks and they have other tasks. Just try to make sure you're signing to the game, you're doing your tasks, they give you great rewards. You get Unilogs, I think I level like 20 and 40. You get coins, which I'm gonna call you know your money i'm not gonna try to pronounce it but also you also get dust and you also get like some uh, upgrade materials for psy cubes and stuff like that so try to make sure you're doing it they're not very hard just stay on top of that and trust me it'll be worthwhile because it'll help you progressing in the future when it comes to team building and building your units and if you're if you're pay to win you might even be able to pay for something you get extra extra stuff and you get skins not a bad not a bad thing you know what i mean like look at this who doesn't like this skin sweetheart looks amazing number two we're going to talk about fragment shop and you can see in the fragment shop you can get some gluttony and you can get your side cubes for your units and please do not get any of the five star side cubes stick to the six stars the six stars is all you need the five stars is just there to take up inventory it doesn't do i'm not gonna say they're not valuable but you really don't need them honestly six stars are so much easier to get and the free five stars that you do get that's all you need bro please just don't don't spend on the six on, i mean not on the six stars. don't spend on the five stars just get those things polarizations the enlightens one and two get both of those because it helps you um upgrade your side cubes and the polarization helps you amplify your psych cubes. That's all you really need. The gluttony you can get, try to get the two gluttonies. You have two times a month is the, the limit for that. And that helps with uh, upgrading your psych cubes. And you definitely need to upgrade your psych cubes if you want to do a lot more damage, especially later, especially later on in uh, future content and just boss battles or anything that's coming up. And for this shop, this is good to have as well because your crystal caskets, you only get four a month, I believe, or not four, I have four. You have two monthly, so if you get two monthly, you're set. It helps you where you resonate, and the higher you resonate, the more DPS or sustain you might have for your units. And they're just little little upgrade pieces that I do get if I don't feel like farming. Because farming some upgrade material can be a little tedious at some points, but hey, it's part of the game and you need to do it if you want to, you know beat certain content in the game and this is exactly what i mean with the shop and they have the material for the resonate i have uh my changeling at r10 and she does a lot of damage and i feel like 10 is the level you want to get most of your dps units or just most of your usable units anyways anything over that i feel like it's kind of later on you get most of your units to 10 like i said but um yeah that's where the r is like i have her at r9 she is she was one of my main dps's at one point um but yeah changeling is who i use a lot yeah plant team is probably my favorite team to use and changeling is probably my favorite unit in the game at the moment and this is the the polarization so you can help uh amplify your psi cubes like i said that is good to get because like i said later on all your psi cubes that you do use you're going to want to have them fully maxed out and i think it maxed out at 60 or 70 i'm not 100 percent sure i wasn't able to get any of my psi cubes to that level yet um but that is a work in progress i feel like there's a lot of things to take care of before i can even focus on getting all my psi cubes to that or even just one because i still have so many psi cubes i use for different units we're going to talk about number three number three we're going to get into the pawn shop and for the pawn shop you have just your base basic needs like your coins your dust the track of the loss and this is what you get from summoning and that's any type of summons whether it's three four stars this one is the album of the loss and you get for five and six stars so that's why it's kind of harder to get i'm pretty sure it's six five or six star dupes so it's kind of hard to get but for you know the base counter this is just where you find like your upgrade equipment you can get unilogs and you see you it refreshes every month so you see it refresh in 25 days and you can get 10 unilogs so i kind of try to save it for that and if i really need upgrade equipment i'll do that i never really get coins or the dust from here unless i'm just really like feeding for something like that but normally i don't do it and this is the the trouble or the trouble counter this is a little high-end store and this is i don't really spend any of these i think i'm just gonna save it until i can get a six star unit it takes a long time far from that i don't know if i'll ever be able to get to that in the next month or so we'll see depends on how many sums i do but like i said whenever a new unit comes out i want to summon and you get a lot of good uh upgrade equipment here that are kind of hard to get but like i said i don't think it's worth it to spend 30 just for one and this is just a drop counter where you get you can kind of convert your clear drops to unilogs so when it comes to this spot i feel like you just save most of it especially the the trouble counter ones and you just use the base counter ones for unilogs or anything that you really need let's get into number four 
For number four, we got our dailies or our weeklies, or if you're brand new to the game, beginning of the tale. And then there's nine different acts, and each of them give you uh, clear drops or unilogs or upgrade equipment. And this is definitely something you gotta tackle as soon as you get into the game. You don't need to rush into it because eventually you will just be able to clear everything and get everything in due time. Um, but like I said, this is definitely something you should do because, like I said, the upgrade material is kind of tough to get. Or I wouldn't say tough, it's just kind of tedious to get at certain points. Um, and this is just the dailies because this gives you clear drops and start or dust and it also gives you coins which does help you upgrade your your units later on down the road the weeklies are for me the most important because it does give you stamina and it gives you um the currency you need to get um the unit logs from the pawn shop so i feel like this is probably one of the most important things and they're pretty easy to do you just have to sign into the game and just defeat enemies and a lot of times you just got to use your stamina and clear certain story mode uh, maps and you also get wilderness shells which, which is something we will talk about later on but um wilderness shells is something else and that is used for the wilderness number five we got some events and this is something that comes in each and every pass as into this game it's two halves it's the first half of the first head character and then the second half of it for the second character but this is the first half for 37 and six will be dropping in a few days well not even a few days like 20 days but here you get you do get special currency you just got to do certain events and missions um this does correlate to story mode as well and you get certain points and like i said special currency to do draws on this and you get unilogs you get equipment to level up your units you you get resonant um equipment to level up there's a bunch of stuff just make sure you take your time to do the events uh, like like of this i i didn't do this yet i know i gotta finish this but the events is very it's a very very good thing to have just because it helps you replenish your your resources but also gives you some summons for future content or for future summons or future units that you want in the game but like the event is one of the biggest parts of this game and i think like, well you should take part of because like i said it gives you everything you need down to the the level up ascension materials your coins your dust your unilogs gives you everything let's get into tip number six and that is story mode story mode just bro when you come to the game don't really focus on everything else focus on story mode do the main story quest do the hard story quest get your clear drops up get your equipment up get go through the story mode enjoy the story like i said if you want to skip you can skip it it is really a good story but do the story mode do all the levels that you have to like i said you need this to you know to farm material later on in the future it gives you the materials that you need future content um and as you get certain star levels and the double stars you do get milestones and this is just traces and for each like certain amount of traces um you unlock you do get more upgrade material and more clear drops so this is just a way to farm your farm your clear drops so you can you know plan for future units that are coming to the game and if you are coming to the game right now when 37 is there the next unit that will be dropping is six and that's a universal support unit i would recommend to get six a hundred percent like no questions asked six is a unit you must go and try to get right after um but yeah there's five uh story parts to this five chapters i just added chapter five actually with this patch um but story mode make sure you guys clear that take your time and enjoy the content and number seven i don't know why they have it as this name I'm trying to give man's head bus but i'm gonna call it limbo because that's kind of what you're aiming towards so limbo it goes from stage 11 to 16 and it does get harder as you do clear the content but you do get 100 clear jobs for each level that you do complete and this does refresh every 11 days or every week or so. So I'm saying this is something that you do need to do is because it helps you replenish your clear drops and helps you plan for you know future summons. So make sure you hop onto that. Um, but this is where you also get those currencies to get the crystal caskets and the upgrade material that you need to upgrade your resonant or your R level that I did show you previously. But yeah, before you do get to limbo, you're gonna have to, before you get to limbo, you're gonna have to clear stages one to 10. And these are fairly easy, but like as you complete story mode and you get the required stuff to upgrade your material or to upgrade your unit, you'll just be able to clear it before you know it. And then you'll be able to get to limbo. But as you're doing that, you will get 300 for each level as you're working your way up you will be able to get to limbo and limbo is just a reoccurring thing that'll give you your gems and like i said it's gonna help you plan for the future this is where you'll be getting a lot of your clear jobs to anyways and a lot of that currency to help you get the stuff to boost your characters to do more damage or be more sustainable for later content or even like raid bosses or anything that's coming up next and number eight number eight, we got wilderness and this part can seem like a lot especially if you don't know what you're doing but
but you got your stardust tower and then you got your coin tower and both of these they do level up and i think they there's like three sections to them and they all go to level six or seven like see right there so i do have my q1 and two maxed out but my q3 is not maxed out and um these things are farmable these are harvest things you can you can farm them in the harvest the Kirin madam um i'm not gonna lie i probably would recommend maxing out both towers um see this is the harvest and to get to the harvest you just go to the main menu you go to show and then you go to resources and this is where you can get your coins your dust and your harvest so you farm your harvest and that is just used to upgrade your towers and um like i said i feel like it is a good thing to invest in because later on down the road when you're just off the game and you're idling the capacity goes up and you get more coins and more dust as you're not actually playing the game um so I feel like it does help you, you know, collect resources and build up your account a little bit better. Um, that's something I know I do need to work on. I just kind of got sidetracked with a lot of the other things. And this is the Wishing Spring. Um, like I said, you can also craft them here. But um, there's just things you're going to have to do from previous levels to craft them here and you can get a lot of your insight materials from here as well this is where you'll be doing a lot of your crafting if you have any excess materials or extra stuff that you could just throw into this um but you can also farm them from levels but that does take a lot of stamina and it does take a lot of time and the drop rates are not good for all of them so a lot of times you'll be using the wishing springs and a really big thing with this is the placement of your characters because it does give you bond levels and as you can see here i do have the full and he is maxed out and you do not want to keep your guys here if they are maxed out because you're losing out on resources which is clear drops and uh, you see how i have the full and he is 100 percent. so whenever you see somebody or a character or any unit that you have here that's 100 percent, switch them out get them out of there as quick as possible because like i said this is about uh capitalizing on everything and maximizing the most that we can so you switch out the full and i put in 37 because i had no bond level on 37 so now that she's in there she's just idling and her bond level is going up and you're wondering what bond level is it's just another way to get more material and that's just clear drops and clear drops are everybody's best friend because we need to do summons with it and there's three levels to this and you see i had um black dwarf at a 53 percent uh bond level so when i get the 80 percent for her i will get i believe it's 60 or 80 clear drops for this like i said just another way to get clear drops it just helps you and then, like i said it just maximizes the amount of drops you can get and if you're free to play you want all the clear drops you can get right so make sure you really do that and now you can see my park it's not it's not the best i keep telling myself i'm gonna i'm gonna take everything out put it back accordingly or tell tell way that i like it because i feel like everything really is just mapped out kind of crazy right now but like i said this this is just this is just a personal preference thing i do want to fix it because i do have a lot of things that i could put out there and you see at the top right i had 1610 as a points for the map and it went to 1602 when i got rid of one of the pieces but when i put another one on it goes right back up to 1610 and each one of these pieces or islands they do have different score levels so you want to keep that into account when you're placing stuff. So I believe the, the higher the level, the better. So you want to put out the higher levels and keep the, the lower levels in your inventory. But like I said, you can kind of build this whatever way you want. Um, I'm pretty sure there's good ways to maximize this, but this is something I'll make another video for. I'm definitely going to change that because like I said, that's bro. Compared to a lot of things that I've seen or a lot of other wildernesses I've seen, mine's pretty bad. Number nine, we're gonna get into stamina. And as you can see, don't be like me. Don't have it maxed out. Don't have it maxed out. Always do something and come back, let it replenish. I know sometimes you can't always do it, but just try it, cause you know, it goes a long way. And then you do get stamina like candy bars or other stuff. Those are good to use. Remember, they do have expiry dates. And for the 60 clear drop refresh, I wouldn't recommend doing that. Like it, it does help if you feel like you really need 100 stamina, but it's not necessary. I feel like it's always good to just, like I said, especially if you're free to play, try to keep it for um just the summons. Cause bro, summons is where it's at for real. And try to keep your stamina for events. Cause it, like I said, events give you a lot of stuff. So try to keep it for events. And last but not least, number 10. We gonna talk about team building and kind of just your resources for team building. Cause I'm building Voyager. I'm trying to get it to I3 right now. Man, I'm telling you, resources get really scarce in the end, especially if you have a lot of units you want to use. So I would recommend just building a team of four to begin with, you know, get through your story mode. As you have your team of four, you work your way up to building a team of eight because you're going to need at least a team of eight for limbo. Still got to clear stage one to 10 before you even have to start really worrying about limbo. So have a solid team of four, build those people or build those units up. You can get them to I2 level 50 or you can get them to I3 level one. Like I said, just focus on four units at first. And then as you're progressing and you feel like, okay, I might need a different type of DPS, like, you know, 
if you have a mineral DPS, you might need a beast DPS. And that guy, it all depends on whoever you have. But I'm telling you, don't don't try to use it. Don't try to build everybody. Because if you build everybody, you're gonna you're gonna put yourself in a wall. You're gonna be stuck. Certain content you won't be able to beat because your guys are not higher enough level. I'm telling you, you're gonna need to really pick and choose who you want to use for your units as a new as a new player if you're just coming into the game i would recommend getting 37 as a really good dps she has a star dps which is good um but then there's also units like Sineto, who's a really she is a dps with more so a support she has a really good support for early mid and end game um you can use her for whatever team you have or whatever team you really need her for to be honest um b corn bloom is another good five star unit that you can use she is very popular and I'm pretty sure she's fairly easy to get. Well, I'm not going to say she's easy to get because she is a five star. When she does show up on banners, I would recommend trying to get her or I would recommend trying to get her. But she's also on the five star selector. So if you still haven't chose that, you could choose or you could choose a Beacorn Bloom. Um, and there's also DK. She's OK. I had her um, when the game first came out. She was part of the seven day login bonus. I'm not 100 percent sure if she's still there. But um, yeah, she is not too bad. Um, she is kind of a. A DPS slash healer, so that is someone else that you can use. Um, if you just need a, a four star DPS, Eagle is really good, really good early to mid game. Pretty sure you can use the late game, but not like later end content. Obviously, eventually, you can use all these units, but it's not you're not gonna want to run around with Eagle for end game content. Like I said, 37 is a really good DPS follow up attacker support. I uh, she is really good for GU, and I know you might be new, or if you heard about GU, GU is probably the top DPS, and she's coming out on patch 1.6. So if you can get 37 i'd recommend getting 37 because gu is somebody you're not going to want to miss at all and if you want to optimize her 37 is a perfect way to do that i'm telling you you can't go wrong with trying to get a few copies of 37 or just one copy of 37 the more copies the better um but yeah there's a lot of units you could really use in this game you're not really stuck to one um just make sure like i said you have your team of four you have your dps you have your support you have your healer and balloon party is an amazing healer probably one of the best healers in the game obviously we're talking about tooth fairy and um what is it medicine pocket but Bloom Party is really good. This is probably my first healer that I use outside of Soda B. I had Soda B just because she's really good for the plant team, and I really wanted a plant team. But um, Bloom Party is one of um, one of the healers you can choose earlier on. But like I said, man, just really, really pick and choose who you want. Maybe it's a favorite unit. It doesn't always have to be meta. As long as you have the units that you need to get you through story mode and the early stages um, to get to Limbo, you'll be good. And like I said, don't try to build everybody. It'll come in due time. It's, it's not something you want to rush into because like I said, you won't be able to clear any content. You're going to be hitting a wall and it's not something you want for your game. But honestly, thank you guys for tuning in. I hope this helped you guys. You, If you guys didn't know about this or any beginners out there that are looking to start Reverse 1999, like always, like, comment, and subscribe. See you guys next time. Peace.